Hey everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and have I got a funny story for you. So, this is the, the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule Collection. It's an Amazon exclusive that um, was supposed to be released in November. It features repaints, repaints with new heads, and a buildable... Um, uh, uh, Solus Hammer of Solus Forge or Hammer of Solus Prime. Uh, that you know, if you get all the sets, it features some fossilizers, um, and it really covers actually about six years worth of Transformers mold. For example, the figure right here that is the Titans Return Twin Twist mold done up in its Diaclone colors. Well, earlier. This week, well, actually, I should say late last week, because I'm recording this on a Sunday night. Uh, it started coming out that people were discovering that the shipping date was being pushed up to Saturday, the 16th of July, with delivery dates being Wednesday. And sure enough, that happened to me. Well, I woke up uh, this morning, Sunday, July 17th, 2022. To discover that the delivery date had been pushed up till today. Now, because these were coming early, um, I had to make some decisions. And one of the decisions I made was, I do not need a toy-colored Springer from the Siege line. It is, I mean, it's a great figure, and I think everyone should have a Siege Springer in their collection, as it's probably the best one we're going to get for the time being. But I don't need two. So I canceled that figure. But I kept Bulkhead. And I kept, because I like Bulkhead. And I kept uh, Twin Twist. But again, I was expecting them on Wednesday. Here they are today. So yeah. We're taking a look at Diaclone Universe Twin Twist. Basically what this is, we are taking the Titans Return mold and doing it in its Diaclone colors, which I kind of already said. Also, for those of you who are of a certain age, and remember the glut of uh, jump starter knockoffs that were around in the 1980s into the early 1990s, um, this was one of the color schemes that was used quite often. So, it is nice to see it uh, featured here. Uh, but it's, again, basically the same figure as the Titans Return version. And again, as I said, Amazon exclusive. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to pause, and we'll come right back uh, for some comparisons. Uh, before we continue, I just wanted to point out this is the piece of the buildable forge or hammer that it comes with. This is the grip. And no, this is not going to be a role play item. It's going to have a base. Although I guess you can remove the hammer from the base. But it's a nice heavy cardboard. This is actually heavier than the box the figure came in. Speaking of which, the box was actually kind of in the shape of a hammer. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but uh, Twin Twist was secured in the packaging using um, folded over cardboard and tape. N no twist ties, no plastic ties at all. Really not impressed with the packaging. The box is the box. The box is going to make a diorama as we're used to um, by this point. So, there's that. Now, moment of truth. The original Titan Return, Titan's Return jump starters were late wave figures, which means not a lot of people got them. I got them through a personal seller who I was doing business with and basically only got them to do a comparison video with the, in my opinion, superior um, Takara Legends figures, which basically removed the weapons here and gave uh, Topspin and Twin Twist Target Masters that 
could be used by them, but were really designed for the Autobot tar uh, Target Masters that were being released in the line that hadn't already been given uh, Target Master weapons. At least that's what I believe. Because of their um, late wave release, a lot of stores didn't get them, ergo a lot of people didn't get them. So now, they actually go for uh, a few hundred dollars. The Takara Legends versions also go for a few hundred dollars, because for a while, those were the easier ones to get, and there was a demand for them, because at least those could be found. Um, I don't have the Titans Return versions. As soon as I did the review, I sold them off. To a guy I was doing business with, he got a great deal, and who, knowing him, he probably turned around and sold these uh, for a massive profit, but that's what it is. I needed to get rid of them because I didn't have space for two of the same character. Titan's Return is a six-year-old line. The Takara Legend versions of Top Spin and Twin Twist have been long put away into storage. I don't know where they are. I could look, but to be very bluntly honest, it's really not worth it to me to lose a half hour, 45 minutes, an hour for like a two-second part of a video. So what I am going to do, since I know a lot of you would like some form of comparison, is this. This is a screen cap from the original review. Um, as you can see, we have the Takara version here on the left with the Target Master and the original Hasbro release on the right. Um, not much difference in colors uh, as it was between uh, Top Spin, but you can see here how there is that change from the Transformer re releases from the original Diaclone. One thing I do appreciate is the fact that the, on the Hasbro version, unlike the original T Titans Return release, like they did on the Takara version, they did uh, color in the little notch here, which is where the hook on the original flip uh, jump starters would be the the the, the uh, little piece of plastic that would hold the vehicle mode um, as it rolls. So there is that. Other than that, as you can see, it's a red chest, blue limbs, gray, uh, blue accents, uh, gray hips, thighs, um, a very different, you know, vehicle mode. Uh, not view, but color scheme. Um, and this, you know, again, the original Diaclone toys were meant to cart around the Diaclone pilots and be drones for them. I, th I think they really were more for, to complement the larger bases that turned into larger robots. So, yeah, I mean, the head is the same. I did check that. It's just, you know, painted differently, different deco and stuff. But... There is that. If I'm honest, I would have preferred having uh, still uh, the original Titans Return figures just because um, the Takara versions didn't come with these weapons and that if you dish out, you know, give the Target Masters to the proper uh, partners, uh, these guys are unarmed. And these are great re uh, replicas of the classic weapons. And for those of you who are unfamiliar, one of the gimmicks of Titan's Return was the weapons could combine and be used as a either a combined weapon that can be held right here or as a seat for the Titan Master, which I'll go ahead and remove. Now, with this release, the Titan Master does not have an individual name. And I'll be very honest, I don't remember the individual name for the original figure. But there it is. Nice little paint scheme. It's a headmaster. 
in Titan's Return, everybody became a headmaster, whether it made sense or not. So, there's that. And because of that nice little notch on the back of the legs, the figure can sit. And we can do things with this in vehicle mode, which we'll get to. So, might as well go into the transformation. It's really not that difficult. I do remember back in the day when I originally reviewed these, I strongly made the argument that this was a heavy retool. And in fact, Hasbro was once again using tooling uh, from uh, one of the other uh, uh, head, uh, Titan Masters. Um, I think it was maybe the De Decepticon Jets, which were all retools. Basically, my point being was is that Hasbro was clearly using the same mold over and over. I was told I was wrong, that any similarities to the transformation were just, you know, happenstance, but really a moot point now. So to start the transformation, you want to remove the head first, which we did, remove the weapons as well, which we also did, and separate the figure here at the hip. You're just going to bend it over at this peg joint, not at the hips, and then what you'll do is rotate the whole section around, just like so. Open up the canopy, which will allow you to flip out the drills. Close the canopy for now, secure things into place. At this point, begin to roll down the treads for the drill tank. Because, don't forget, in Japan, drill tanks are very great. Open the panel there, collapse the forearm into the bicep. Flip the fist up, close the hand. This was actually a really cool and inventive transformation back then. And still is a very fun transformation to do to get to one vehicle mode, to get from the vehicle mode like this. Next, what you're going to do is collapse on this double hinge here, the arms into the torso. There's a tab there that's going to peg into the upper part of the bicep and a tab on the uh, where the wrist would be that's going to peg into the front of the nose cone. Just go ahead. Joints are fairly still tight, so this is kind of nice to do. But make sure, don't be shy. Get it in there. Make sure everything's closed up. Well, these will put a little stank on it. And, yep, that looks about right. Next, what you're going to do is flip this section back up. This is now going to uh, snap in more securely to that to the section here that was the um, uh, neck cavity for the Titan Master. Rotate the hips around. Come underneath and basically open up the back of the legs. Now, and open up these knee pads. Now the instructions show you to peg the legs together and then collapse them. I recommend, which I think was actually the original uh, transformation, bringing these uh, legs up, fold up the feet before you peg them together. I just think it's a little bit easier. You have a little bit more leverage to do it. Bring those knee panels down and then peg the legs together. And of course, if you are so inclined, you can give them a little extra push right there. But there's Twin Twist in its drill tank mode. Really dig the color scheme, really dig the blue. That's actually one of the reasons why I stuck with this, besides the fact that I really wanted the mold again to have something to, like with the Hasbro version of it. Now, one thing I liked about this version of the mold is it did have a little bit more to it in terms of interacting with Titan Masters. As you can see here, in the back of the vehicle mode, you have the slots where you can peg Titan Masters on. You can, of course, you do have holes in the side here, side of the treads, that you can just peg the weapons into. Of course, though, the main spot for the Titan Master, which I guess is Twin Twist, uh, is right here in the uh, cockpit. 
Pick it in. There you go. And then to uh, handle the weapons, uh, you separate them. And was there, I'm trying to remember if there was like a special way to pick them in. But I know somebody's going to remind me, but just do them like this. And there you go. You have a nice armored drill tank. Let me take a quick peek at the instructions to make sure I'm not missing that. Because I thought there was a way um, using the um, parts that are used to combine the weapons that you can store them. But I could be wrong. And it looks like I am. Even though the, the instructions show you to actually uh, peg them in down here directly above the treads. Which I guess you can do. And of course you can add in other weapons. These are wreckers after all. But again, this was one of the better Titan Master molds. And it still is. Um, I do like how... Even in the year 2022, we still get drill tanks from a Japanese line. Again, the drill tank, very popular. So, that's about it. How about we pause, and we'll come back with my final thoughts. I really don't know what more I can say about um, Twin Twist here. Um, besides the fact that if you were going to get one from this set... I would say go for the easily accessible uh, sub thirty dollar release of a several of a couple hundred dollar figure. Um, this is an opportunity for those who missed out to get their hands on the mold. Yes, it's not the release you want, but what are you going to do? Personally, I really I, I really dig the color scheme, and I'm hoping that top spin is coming sooner rather than later. Um, but other than that, um, it's going to be fun for me to fiddle with this guy for a couple days. Since uh, when I was doing the reviews originally, it was really just get it in, get it out, because there was more figures coming. Um, and to be honest, this week is going to be a lot of fun since I had a lot of figures come in. But again, I recommend the figure. And if you were going to get one from this Wreck and Rule set... Uh, Def, uh, it would be Twin Twist. So that's about it for the review. If you like the review, like, comment, subscribe. Helps with the algorithms. Other than that, this is your old pal Chuck. And for Wreck and Rule Diaclone Universe Twin Twist. We will see you next time.